I want to make a video on these uh, Freightliner DD15, DD13, DD16 crankcase breather assemblies. Um, this is the new one, obviously, and to me, it seems like you should be able to take these things apart and clean them instead of paying $400 almost for this entire new assembly with the gasket. Um, so I am going to take this old one apart and I'm going to see just what I find. Uh, there are plenty of videos on how to remove and reinstall these. I'm not going to get into that, but what I am going to get into is whether or not these old ones can be cleaned and put back into service. Uh, and it may not even be worth it, but if you want to save a few hundred bucks, if it can be done, maybe it's worth it. Um, if you want the part number for the new one, if you have a uh, need for a crankcase breather assembly, which from what I understand, they um, need replaced about every 500,000 miles. I don't know. It's the first one I've done. So, uh, but I'm just starting to get that, that uh, code that it's, that's RPMs are not high enough. So anyway, I'm going to take this thing apart, see what I find and get back with you shortly. Okay, going to answer my question as to whether or not these um, crankcase ventilation spinners for DD13, 15, and 16 can be removed and cleaned and put back into service. The answer is best I can tell in my limited understanding of things, and it is limited, uh, is no. Okay, so basically I've taken it apart already and I just kind of cobbed it back together for illustration purposes i do have a better understanding now of how they work um but anyway so this is just side cover this is the down pipe uh that starts leaking all the all your oil when this has gone bad okay inconsequential we don't care really all right the the the, the important part is so they don't work off of exhaust gases. They work off of oil pressure. Oil pressure enters in through this hole right here. And there is this little brass nozzle right there that sprays in. And it goes against this wheel here. There's only half of it there. The other half seems to have left the scene of the crime when I violently pried it off. Um, but anyway, it was twice as thick and probably twice as effective as it is now but it's not effective at all anymore so anyway i went to beating on it because i don't have a lot of sense uh and uh figured out that's not how it comes apart so i there's a little clip there this wheel pulls off three screws hold this in that comes off and the answer to the question is found within this is all a sealed unit with that 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 spinner inside that uh, separates the oil vapors from the uh, air, I guess it's for the environment. You know, got seals we got to worry about, not rubber seals. I'm talking about the little seals that polar bears like to eat. Um, anyway, so this is all sealed up. So to get in there to clean that that unit that that builds up with oil residue and or carbon and or dirt and or fingernails and hair clippings i don't know um you can't get into it to clean it maybe you can if you're smarter than i am which is entirely likely that you are um but really for the price of a new one um it's not worth the time not to me anyway and i'm not even rich so I would say just just replace the uh, the whole unit, like they say, like they've designed it to be. I know some you can replace just this top part. Um, I don't think that uh, Detroit wants you doing that because they don't make as much money. Anyway, um, sorry for my lack of video taking abilities and. Uh, fluid speech and know-how I, I i'm sorry for all of it uh but i did want to pass that along because i've often wondered if these could be taken apart 
cleaned and put back into service? The answer is no, not within my capabilities anyway. So I hope that helped. Thank you, and I'll see you next time when I learn something new and drag you along. Bye.